Coach, what's the energy and anticipation like as as you guys get ready to welcome Kevin Durant in the game for the first time in a month and a half? Yeah, great anticipation. I think overall as a uh, uh, unit, uh, looking forward to him being back on the floor. Uh, but we talked about everyone doing their part just because uh, he's back with us. Uh, we, we still have uh, responsibilities uh, to take care of. Is it a fill-out process in terms of the minutes he'll play tonight? Any restrictions in terms of how much he can play? No, I'll keep an open dialogue with him. Just uh, keep a pulse on how he's feeling, the flow of the game, uh, and just continue that dialogue and, and see what we get to tonight. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Last year when he came back from an injury, you guys actually brought him off the bench at first. Uh, is that the plan tonight, or if not, what is the plan? No, he'll start tonight. Uh, a little different ramp up than, than previously. Uh, from the last injury. So uh, he's ready to go from the beginning of the game. And he'll start. Coach, can you, I guess, kind of qualify what type of impact Kevin has? You see the record with him and without him. Just how can one player have such a big impact on, on winning? Uh, just overall, yeah, I think it speaks to the volume of, uh, of the person and player that he is and the impact that he has on the court, in the locker room, traveling with us, input, uh, just overall experience and, and knowledge of the game. Uh, and then the defense has to, to react to him. Uh, and so which provides easier opportunities for, for the other guys on the floor. Yeah, not that we don't like seeing you or anything, but do you know if Steve is on pace to return for Sunday's game? <laughs> oh, man, that's that's right in the ribs right there, Alex. <laughs> I, I said it's not that we don't like seeing you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I talked to him today. Uh, he's still in, in the protocols, and uh, uh, that's all I got for you. But uh, he's, he's doing okay. Uh, Jock, you, you talked about other guys kind of doing their parts. What, what's the positive from the trickle down of getting KD back and other guys kind of getting back to maybe their more natural roles and expectations? Yeah, just the uh, how it affects the minutes and uh, rotations. That's the immediate part of it. Uh, the combinations that we can have out there on the floor. Uh, the, the fact that he can guard multiple positions and uh, cover a lot of holes for us uh, allows us to play big and small. So immediate impact with, that, with having him back out there. In his case, the fact that he's, you know, he's gone through some significant injuries before and layoffs before. I mean, did that make it, I guess, easier for him to be a little bit more patient with the return? Because, I mean, you guys were losing games. He's seeing the losses piling up. Did that make it easier for him to make sure he did the rehab correctly? I think he has a great perspective and uh, on, on the final goal for this team. And so uh, I think we were pretty judicious in how we brought him back as an organization. Uh, I think on the floor tonight, he'll feel comfortable being out there. And that was the goal. Hey, Jacques. Uh, Kevin referenced um, that he's energized, uh, that there are only 19 games left, obviously. Can you tell a difference in demeanor um, from him now versus before the injury? I know he loves playing the game of basketball and uh, love having him in the gym. This is just a different feel when you see him on the side bucket getting his work in, how it affects the rest of the group. Uh, and it's, it'll have an immediate impact on our juice and our level of play tonight for sure. Coach, good to see you. Uh, for for uh, for, our, for our viewers, they're going to be interested in Goran Dragic. Uh, with all the moving pieces you've had this year, What's his addition been like, and how's his transition to your team going? Yeah, Eric, he gave us a scouting report. That, that was the best addition for the day. Uh, no, overall, great human being, uh, great to talk basketball with, great to have uh, in the locker room, true professional, uh, battle-tested. And so his ability to, uh, uh, you'll see tonight, play with Kevin, uh, play with a smaller unit, uh, play off the basketball and have the basketball in his hand, uh, a luxury to have in our locker room. Hey, Jock, what's going on? How you doing? Good, man. A little gray in that beard, man. How Can't about believe... that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we come a long you. ways, John. Yeah, long ways, buddy. buddy. <laughs> uh, look, 38 different lineup changes, I think, this year. Uh, what's it been like for you guys with, you know, obviously Kyrie in and out and all the different moving pieces you've had just trying to toe the line and keep everybody consistently, you know, moving forward? Yeah, you talk about, uh, um, you know, gaining some, strength through adversity. Uh, hopefully this uh, makes us stronger as a team as we get healthy and we get going in this this final stretch of the season. So uh, no year is ever alike. Uh, and, and this year has definitely proven itself to be that way. I think overall with, with Steve's leadership and Sean's leadership, we've adjusted as an organization. And uh, hopefully, like I said, we'll, we'll be battle tested uh, through some adversity.
Chuck, this is a twofold. Sean said that uh, the idea is that Ben could be doing teamwork by the end of next week. Is it fair to think that three high intensity workouts, maybe a week runway before he could play once he starts practicing? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with what, what Sean talked about today. He kind of flushed that out a little bit. And uh, hopefully Ben is on track uh, of what Sean talked about. And uh, we're, we're definitely looking forward to it. I'll say that. And just how concerning is, I guess, the lack of a runway that you guys are going to have before the playoffs trying to get these guys together. I mean, it's conceivable that even if you, even if you get Ben in two weeks, you might only have three, maybe four games with Kyrie and with Kevin. A heck of a challenge. And uh, it uh, – It'd take a, a full effort from everyone in that locker room to, to really buy in to uh, understanding each other and uh, uh, all the shoot arounds and the practice days, they'll be very useful and we got to take advantage of them. Jock Gorn's played about 15 minutes for you guys each game. Just can he take a bigger load if he wanted to, or are you guys still trying to get him, you know, back into shape to, to do so? Yeah, definitely being smart about it, uh, not putting too much on his plate. Uh, we'll continue just to, to build him from those numbers, but he's responded well. Uh, and so we'll continue to tack on some minutes as, uh, as he gets his legs underneath him a little bit.